Live from the land that freedom forgot, the most listened to Second Amendment broadcast in the nation. We can't beat any of these gun control initiatives um, at the state level or the federal level anymore. It looks like everything has to go to the Supreme Court. We're fortunate that the court is 5-4 right now. I still have a standing offer to anyone out there. If they want to take Ruth Bader Ginsburg zip lining, I will pay for the entire trip. Anthony Calandro hosts a pro-gun podcast for about a million listeners a week. I'm mic'd up, so careful what you say, because Vice News is the fucking enemy. And he's the owner of a gun shop and shooting range in suburban New Jersey. I noticed your business card says that you're a capitalist marksman. I own capitalist marksman. I trademarked it. I own the domain. And I have it tattooed on me. See? Capitalist marksman. Oh, yeah. There you are. Right there. All right. With the all seeing What does that eye. mean, though? I'm a capitalist, Uh and I never miss. Tune in. Gun for Hire Radio 416. Scott Bach is going to be on the show. Calandro didn't build a podcast and social media empire by being a nice guy. He takes a hardline view on gun rights, a position that sometimes even puts him to the right of the National Rifle Association, like when it supported President Trump's ban on the bump stock. But last month... After years of agitating for change as an outsider, he won a seat on the NRA's board, just in time for its worst crisis in decades. You picked a hell of a year to join the board of directors of the NRA. I don't know anything else. I tell people I own a gun range in New Jersey. How much worse could it get? I can pretty much handle anything. Anything, in this case, is an NRA that seems to be in disarray. In April, a series of news reports revealed that the organization which is technically a nonprofit, is running out of money, while executive compensation has skyrocketed. That's drawn the attention of the Attorney General of New York, who's now investigating whether the group truly deserves its tax-free status. And there's palace entry. At the annual convention last month, then-President Oliver North tried and failed to oust CEO Wayne LaPierre. Are you proud of your freedom? Stand up and be counted then. Are you team Wayne LaPierre? I'm team NRA, and that includes Wayne LaPierre because he is our CEO and executive vice president now right now. Yes. As far as the NRA is concerned, this is a small thing that will be cleared up when the attorney general is done with their investigation. Uh, you will see full transparency of everything that's going on. Now the media is trying to get the NRA to have infighting, <clears throat> which is a horrible situation. But some of this is a self-inflicted wound, it seems like. You had Ollie North stand up and actually threaten Wayne LaPierre and try to actually kick him out of power. I mean, those that infighting is real. That's not invented. Oh, yeah, of course. But what corporations don't have infighting? There's always going to be boardroom antics that go on. You load, close the cylinder. Calandro's full-throated embrace of the NRA has surprised some people who hoped he'd be more of a force for change. I mean, as far as the people who follow you and love you and love your social media and your podcast, some of them were were pissed off. Why was that? Yeah, well, because they've lost faith in the NRA. And I think the NRA has done a great job, but I think they do a horrible job of selling what they're doing. Could you imagine New York, New Jersey, and California, the most oppressive anti-gun states? These three states, we, the people who stayed in the states, the fighters, backed 100% by the NRA, will create the winds that all of the middle states that tell us, move, why are you there? No, somebody has to take a stand. So forget the infighting, executive compensation or whatever. My eyes are on the prize. Make sure you get both ears. Easy. I'm not carrying the party line for the sake of carrying the party line. Right now, I'm carrying some of the party line because I don't want to endanger us. I've heard you say on your radio show that the only thing that can take down the NRA right now is division among its members. Correct. What do you mean by and that? And that's the truth. Well, we have division going on right now where people, if you get enough people discuss it and stop the flow of, of donations and memberships, that can take down the NRA. It's always like this power struggle. If anybody here watches Game of Thrones, I've compared it to that. It's like this fight for the throne. This who wants the Second Amendment throne. Let's just get the job done. Who gives a crap who gets credit for it? Let's just get it done. <laughs> 